Okay, so today we are looking at the links between balance of payments categories. If we look at the syllabus, we moved on from the structure, and now we're looking at the second dot point, the links between key balance of payments categories. What we're talking about here is that money going into Australia, goods coming into Australia, services, capital, all these things will then create outflows. Think about it this way. A Chinese investor invests in Australia's resources sector. So they buy a small stake in an Australian mining company. So this is portfolio investment. The Chinese investor, would you believe, doesn't invest for fun. They want a return, such as in the form of dividends from the Australian company. So the inflow of capital to buy shares in Australians mining company will then result in outflows to reward the investor. Have a look at it this way. So in this very complicated diagram, we've got Australia, we've got China, uh, we've got mining and we've got money. So China buys a stake in an Australian mining company, which is a credit on the financial account on portfolio investment. Okay, this is the first flow. As a result, Australia then has to pay dividends to the Chinese investor, which is a debit and outflow on the primary income account, which records dividends. So let's have a look. An Australian company takes out a loan from a German bank. So the inflow creates a credit, sorry, the loan creates a credit inflow to Australia, which is recorded in the financial account, which looks at loans. So the money goes into Australia. But then the Australian company has to pay interest on the loan. This creates what's known as a debit outflow on the primary income account, which is on the current account. So an inflow to the financial account will result in an outflow from the current account. Check out this example. An American investor buys a few shares in Telstra, which is listed in Australia. The purchase creates an inflow to the financial account in Australia because there is money coming into Australia for the purchase of shares. This is portfolio investment. But then the Australian company, Telstra here, must reward the investor by paying them dividends. This creates a debit outflow on the primary income account, which is in the current account. So here we see an inflow of capital to buy the shares, and then an outflow, a financial outflow of dividends on the current account. So what I'm saying here is that the key links between the current account and the CAFA are involved in international borrowing and foreign investment. These are the key links. So international borrowing, Australia borrowing money from overseas is a credit to the CAFA. Stop it here and play it again if it's confusing. But international borrowing, Australia borrowing money from overseas is an inflow into the CAFA. These loans require regular interest payments, which are servicing costs. And these payments are outflows. They are debits and they are recorded on the current account. Borrowing money comes in on the CAFA. Paying interest goes out on the current account. Try foreign investment. Foreign investment is where someone from overseas buys a stake or a whole company in Australia. This is a inflow on the CAFA. It is a credit to the financial account because it's either direct or portfolio investment. Foreign investors want rewards for their investment in the form of rent, dividends and profits. So these rewards are recorded as outflows or debits on the primary income account, which is on the current account. What are we saying? We know that the current account plus the CAFA plus net errors and emissions equals zero. And the strongest link 
between the current account and the CAFA is on the primary income account of the current account. Inflows into the capital and financial account credit will lead to outflows on the current account. This is a very important relationship to know and we look at it particularly in terms of foreign debt, so international borrowing, and also foreign investment, which is foreign investors buying shares or buying companies in Australia. So from here, it's really important to practice. And this is where you'll be trying this sheet. And there'll be a separate video that deals with going through the answers.